it heats you up. It's great for a cold breakfast. For a, no, for a warm breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Uvish. Welcome here to my kitchen in Mexico City. Today we're going to be cooking birria. Birria is a regional dish of Mexico that it's cooked in many different states like Zacatecas, Aguascalientes, Jalisco. Today we're going to make two versions of birria. One simple birria that basically it's a clear white broth of beef that you can add your own salsa to your taste and then on the side, the birria tacos. And in the ultimate version, I'm going to make you a really special preparation that is called quesabirria. Like the name says, it's a quesadilla slash with birria tacos. So for the simple birria, first we need to cook the meat with some herbs. So we have the beef that we have two types of cut, the aguja that has a little bit of fat, that's why I like it, and the maciza that it's, as you can see, pretty lean. Let's put the meat in the pressure pot. Let's add our aromatic leaves. We have the bay leaf, thyme, and margarine. Black pepper. We're going to add a piece of onion. We're going to add a clove of garlic. Let's add some water. It's going to be cooked together at least one hour. So we're going to make the salsa for the simple birria. We're going to use three types of chiles. Guajillo, that it's much more of an earthy, dry flavor. Pasilla, that it tastes very similar to a prune and also ancho that it, it adds actually a little bit more of sweetness. You have to clean them, so I always use my scissors to take the stem out, take all the seeds out and also the veins, because if not, they are going to be a little bit spicy. So I added the boiling water to the chiles, garlic and onion, and I'm going to put this in the stove to cook. So the chiles for the salsa have been boiling around 10 to 15 minutes, and now we're going to put everything in the blender and blend it. We have our meat that it has been boiled. It's now super soft and we have also the broth. So what we have to do with the meat is take it out and we have to chop it. Sometimes people do it with forks like this and then you can just finish it with uh, your knife. Now we're going to finish with the sides that we have to use for our simple birria, which are onion, limes, some cilantro, oregano and the salsa that we already made. To finish the birria and the tacos, we have to put to both the same things. So when you add the salsa, you have to stir it up. And now, as you can see, we have red birria. This is how traditionally it's done in most of the markets in Mexico. And then to prepare your tacos, just put some meat and then you add the same thing to your tacos. All right, now we have ready our simple birria soup and tacos, so we're going to taste them. Mm -hmm. So this is a more simple recipe, but it still has a lot of flavor and spice. If you have never made birria before, this is a great recipe to start with. Now we're going to do the most difficult birria version. For this recipe, we're going to use guajillo chiles, pasilla, but also another chile that it's called morita. This one is a bit more smoky flavor and a little bit more spicy, so we're going to only add a few. So we're going to roast the chiles, pasilla, guajillo and morita. Here it can get a little bit tricky because how do you know that this, that it's already black, is roasted by the smell? So I'm going to use my comal to roast all of this. It has to be already warm, so when you put them, you're going to immediately feel the smell and you have to turn them quickly. So we're going to roast the avocado leaf, bay leaf, allspice, clove, cumin and cinnamon. Be very careful with not burning your spices or leaves. So now we have everything, the chiles and the spices roasted, so we're going to add some warm water to soak it up and make it softer when we start to make to blend the adobo. So while the chiles are soaking, we're going to make the radish salsa. So we're going to chop our radishes, very small squares, and now we're going to blend habanero, lime juice and vinegar, and that's what we're going to soak in the radishes also overnight. For the habanero, I like to leave the seeds in because the idea is that this salsa is spicy. You want to smell it? <coughs> it has to smell strong. All right, now we're going to blend everything to make our adobo and marinate the meat. We're going to take all the chiles and the spices and let's add some oregano and some white vinegar. Now we're going to put the meat here just make sure that all the meat gets covered. The best thing to do is to marinate the meat at least overnight. 
If you don't have enough time, you can just leave it rest a little bit like we did right now and just add the meat with the adobo to the pressure pot. And you have to cook this for an hour. So now we're going to roast the tomatoes, the onion and the garlic because that's what we're going to add to our ultimate birria when our meat is ready. Directly roast into the comal, no oil, nothing. In Mexican food, we never take the burnt parts out. That's what we want. We want that flavor. This is not French food, okay? So now we have the meat that it's already marinated and cooked. So we're going to take that out. I want to show you how super soft it is. It just falls apart, all right? Look at that color, super beautiful. The roasted tomatoes, onions, garlic. We're going to blend that, we're going to mix this. And this is our ultimate birria consomme. We want that the consomme is super smooth. Let's strain it. And to this, we're going to add the adobo that we already have. And now we're going to bring this into the fire. All right, so now we're going to make our quesadillas. We're going to use corn tortillas, we're going to use a stringy cheese or quesillo. So quesillo, it's super easy to shred, just like this. Over here, we're going to put first the cheese, so it creates a crispy cheese layer. So now we grab our tortilla and we dunk it in the hot consomme. So with that, it gives it a really nice red color. And we put that over our cheese. Then we flip it. That looks good. Then when you add the meat, you have to fold it. And just let it cook over there, on both sides. All right, so we made three quesadillas and now we're going to add the final touch that it's the onion, cilantro, lime, and the spicy radish pico. As you can see, it's much more complex than the other one. It requires more time, but believe me, it's worth it. Mm. The good part about marinating the meat is that it's also packed with flavor, that everything also came to the consomme. I really wish that I can see your faces when you try this, guys, because this is an amazing recipe. The broth is super rich, but doesn't feel heavy. So it's just packed with flavor. I really wanna know which one is your favorite version, so please leave that in the comments. I wanna know if you like better the simple birria or the ultimate birria version. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed it, remember to subscribe to the Spruce Eats channel for more content like this.